Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell. If you're not new, welcome back. So today I am doing a look with the Beauty Bakery Breakfast and Bed Palette that I received in my BoxyCharm box. And I just wanted to tell you guys that BoxyCharm did gift that to me. So this is gifted. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> Anyway, if you want to see how I got this sweet, neutral look and what I think about this palette, just keep on watching. Okay, so disclaimer, my niece is here and her and my daughter are playing. So we have got two littles just having a great time. There might be screaming and laughing. So there you go. Anyway, I went ahead and did one eye to make this a lot faster and yeah, let's get started. All right, so we've got our Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed palette and we're gonna start out with the color Forehead Kisses. Now this is such a light color that it didn't even really show up that well, but I think it's because it's almost the exact color of my skin. Now, if it's not the exact color of your skin, you're not gonna have the same issue as me, but since I did put it on this side, I'm gonna put it on this side. All right, so I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics brush number one, and I'm gonna swirl it in here. And it does pick up the color. The color comes off really well. And I'm thinking, and tap, tap, I think that it'll probably go on really well for somebody if your skin color is not the same color as, like, it's literally my skin color. Like this could be my press powder because it is it's my skin color so I didn't really see it at all I'm thinking if you have darker skin or even a lot lighter skin it's gonna be beautiful for you but they have actually found my skin color <laughs> but I did it on one side so I'm doing it on the other um, I do think it'll look great on you if your skin color is not the same color. All right, I'm gonna go in now with my Alter Ego brush number one. It's also a fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with Messy Hair. So we're gonna go in, do, do, do. And these colors are quite pigmented, but this is a very neutral palette. So yeah, you can't get a super, super dark look. I mean, you may be able to if you're using Boo With A View. Um, I think that might be a fun one. All right, so I'm gonna take this one may need to get more on the brush and I'm going to take it pretty far into the middle of the lid and then I'm going to take it into the crease. I'm not taking it all the way over. I'm just taking it almost over and leave a little bit of space. So we've pretty much covered our whole eyelid. I'm taking it pretty high up into the brow bone, um, leaving just a little bit of naked skin right there. Okay, so let's go on to the next brush we're going to use in the next color. We're going to use the Morphe brush. The brush I use, and it doesn't have a number. It's a, it's a little like kind of pencil Morphe brush. We're going to go in with the color Yawning, and I just injured that one. I don't know how I did it. But something, something got smushed on there. I don't know what. All right, so this is a, a kind of a soft purple. This, it's not the darkest color in the palette because I think forehead kisses, not forehead kisses, boo with a view might be the darkest. But, ooh, fallout, blah, blah. But that's probably my fault because I really coated it because I want it to be somewhat dark. So just kind of getting it in that outer corner there. And then we're gonna go up into the crease. Again, keeping it more on the outer and not going so far in there. On your lid, just kind of keeping it on this outside area. I like this look because, oh, and the fallout, it, it's pretty, pretty intense there. Again, you can tap your brush and probably manage that a little better. Maybe I just didn't manage it as 
best I could. But I really want this to be dark. As dark as it can be, anyway. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with my Alter Ego brush. I'm going to go back in with Messy Hair. And just kind of go on those edges and blend it. Because we want to make sure that we've got nice edges. And it's crazy how small this eye looks. Because I have that white eyeliner and um, the mascara. Alright, I'm going to take this brush by The Vintage. It's the Step 3 brush. Any flat round brush will be good. I'm going to take some Fix Plus and spray it on there. And then I'm going to go in with French Doors. And this is a, a kind of champagne-y color. It has a little bit of... Um, I'm going to say like a purple hue, but it really doesn't have too much of a purple hue, but a little bit. I'm taking it all up the front of the eye, so pretty high up there. And then in my um, inner crease, just getting it in there. I, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I did not have this fallout on this side, so I'm not really sure what... I did differently. I think I just was for time's sake wanting it to be quicker. So I didn't put, um, I put too much powder on and I didn't pat it off. All right. So I'm just kind of patting that color in, making sure I'm happy with how much is on there. I'm going to go back in with the alter ego and messy hair. And just kind of making sure that those edges look nice. And I just kind of like fluff it. Like, does that even make sense? I'm just kind of blending those so the edges don't look crazy. I'm going to also take messy hair with my brush. And I want to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm going to take this. Just get that under there. I don't mind if it goes down kind of low because I am going to use that other color, the more purpley dark one. And I'm going to put that right above it. So you can see it has that one color and then we're going to add um, yawning. And I'm going to pinch it. And it just gives a little bit more dimension. As you can see. All right, so I'm going to go back in with yawning again. Just want to get that a nice V there. I like this palette. I do have her wish that color was just a tad bit darker just a tad not not too much because I think too much darker it wouldn't give me that nice soft neutralness that I want I think I would just like it a little bit darker guys wish me luck I'm really scared about dusting this off I think I might have to do some extra work here <gasps> that's beautiful it just dusted right off like Perfect. Perfection. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NYX um, Milk 604 Jumbo Pencil. I'm going to go in. I'm just going to do this on my lower waterline. And I really just wanted to create like a nice, soft, neutral look. Nothing too... Um, dramatic or too glam, but I still feel like this is a nice, soft, glam look. Um, I'm going to use my Superhero It Mascara, and it needs to be swapped out. So FYI, it's seen better days.
All right, so that's it. Oh goodness. And I, like I said, I don't know where my makeup wipe thing is that I normally have with me, but here's my finished look. I feel like this is a, a really nice, like soft, neutral, pretty look. I feel good. I feel pretty. And yeah, so anyway, that's it. If you want to see more looks with this palette, just let me know. Uh, again, it was gifted by BoxyCharm. And if you are looking for looks for it, I hope you like this one. And if you're looking for more, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.